Hello everybody, Blitzstorm here. So I'm actually making this moon for the game that I'm uh, doing here, the 7 day challenge. And I thought I would just go over kind of how to do uh, like lighting onto the moon as well as other stuff. So I do have a day and night cycle going on. I do have this uh, 3D model of the moon that I designed in the 3D Studio Max there and I've imported into Unity. So what I want now is when you look up at the night sky, the moon kind of gets the reflective look from the sun on the other side of the earth, I guess, as you kind of put it uh, around the, like, uh, I'm not sure how, what you would phrase it as, but uh, you get that illumination. So I kind of want to do that for this moon at the side that's going to be by the sun. So what I have here is a couple uh, point lights. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to bring them in. And as you see, I'm starting to get like that glow. The more you move it in, the more you're going to get the glow, the more you move it out. And so I just want to do probably three, another one over here. So I'm just going to actually duplicate that right now. And I'm going to uh, move it over and move it up and move it over a bit. And then... There we go. Now we kind of got that glow on the moon when we're looking and you can, uh, I, I actually might want to bring it more on this side. I might do a fourth one, bring it on here. That's all you need to do. And, uh, by the way, yeah, this is, uh, it actually, this model actually turned out pretty good. So when I have it rotating, what I'm doing is I'm actually putting the lights in the moon, uh, prefab that I'm going to be making here. And so when the moon rotates, all the lights and everything will, rotate with it. I think it's going to look pretty dang good. So I'm going to uh, keep doing that. I'm going to edit and move another one over. Uh, and then something else you can do for the moon is I have a point light in there. Actually, no, I don't have one in this yet. Uh, oh yeah, right here. So this main moon is actually a is a directional light and I have it shaded kind of blue. I'm actually going to turn it a bit down to a bit more of a white. Uh, something maybe like this. And then I also have it casting shadows, uh, soft shadows. I might take that off. I, I need to test it a bit. Uh, but so what this does is it, when the, the moon comes out, it actually gives that kind of the bluest glow as a full moon would uh, on the fields and on the snow stuff like that uh, so you're also getting that and then the model of course and then i just have the texture on it but that's all there is really to if you want to just improve every little bit improves it a little bit more until you get something that looks really good really well done and it's just about how much time you're willing to put into things the models the effort how much effort you're going to put into it uh, something else you can do uh, to get the lighting is actually do a spotlight and just do the range and the spot angle is something else that you can do. Um, let's just null these so that you can see this. Uh, I'm just going to do a turn these off. Should be one more up there. So the intensity, let's uh, turn that all the way up. Uh, spot angle. I'm just going to try to get it around the whole side here. Um, let's go ahead and range. Let's go 40. So you can do something like this. Uh, it's just one light, basically. And, you, and that's all you need to do that. So then you can actually turn these into uh, directional lights, too, if you want. I'm actually going to just delete those. But that's a couple different ways that you can get the light and effect on the moon if you wanted.